So I have decided right at this very moment that I'm going to start recording what I do in my studio because I feel like I have fun every single day and I keep thinking I should be recording this. So you know what? I'm going to start doing that and we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Might be boring. Might be fun. <laughs> Stay tuned and find out. So I'm experimenting with collage papers using tissue paper. It's going to be collage. I'm using alcohol inks. Um, I'm using... This table covering is four mil plastic and nothing sticks to it. It's almost like silicone. It's amazing. I love it because I can clean it off. Paint comes off it. Glue comes off it real easy. And I'm going to use it today as my uh, workspace. You'll see. So I'm just putting this ink, this is Alcohol Ink Ranger brand, just putting her down there on the, putting her down <laughs> on the plastic. I don't know. Oh, this is Willow, and Willow is almost kaputski. Oh, wow. This was a nice color, by the way. I like this combination, but I have lots more greens, so we'll just put another different one in there. I'm going to grab it over here. Green, green. This is citrus. Ooh, this will be a pop. <laughs> yeah, it's almost full. Whoop, has, it hasn't been used in who knows how long. I was able to, to purchase on Marketplace. No, that wasn't on Marketplace. It was from uh, a lady that I knew. And she was getting rid of all of her alcohol inks, so I got 90 bottles of it. <laughs> and I didn't know what colors I was getting. I just said, I'll take them. And uh, so this, these colors I'm using today are part of that purchase. So I don't know what they are, and I'm not too concerned. I just want to see what, what they will do. Oh, that's kind of nice, huh? And since I've, I've folded this tissue paper, so i got a whole bunch of layers, obviously, and it's going to soak through it's tissue paper and I'm going to get different effects all across the board which I really like these. This is a nice uh, color combo. Let's pull it apart see what we got there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very cool. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the camera. No, I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. So I'm going to Put this down the middle. What color is this? I don't think I mentioned. Eggplant. What is this? Terracotta. One of my favorite colors. Ink colors. Very earthy. Perfect for this time of the year. Okay, I'm gonna... Actually, what I wanna do is start another sheet. So I'm gonna take another sheet of... Uh, tissue paper and put it right over the top of this and maybe this not some of that isn't dry yet either so I'll pick up <clears throat> whatever's wet I'll take it okay that's pretty dry down there and now I think I'm just going to fold it over just you know you can just get crazy with it I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> it seems to be working I'll just have fun with it no rules, no rules. Now the next step of this technique is to cover this with, or no wait, that's not right. No, that's not right, that's another technique. Okay, what you can do, and this is another technique, is to put the inks down, put a gel medium over the top of it, which I'm experimenting right now, and that is Nova Gel. It's a acrylic polymer medium. It's transparent, glossy, um, and thickener for acrylic paint. But it also works as a kind of working adhesive. So that's what I did a little bit earlier. This, and I'm not sure it's dry yet. Um, so 
Oh, let's look, see if it pulls any of it up. I am so impatient. <laughs> oh, it is, look, look, look. No, it's not. This is the tissue paper. This is the, pl it stayed on the plastic. So that did not work. Oh well, that's okay. I don't think it's dry enough, so I'm just gonna set that to the side. But how cool is this? I like this. And then I think I'm gonna go in with some alcohol inks in my spray bottles. Which looks like this, a little grungy. <laughs> well used well loved and just start spraying some if you're doing this make sure you're in a nice ventilated area so you don't asphyxiate yourself well, those colors are nice Add some green and this is really wet fun 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 i always tell my students if they get stuck just add more alcohol <laughs> that off quickly. And then you get something like that. This is awesome collage paper. I love tissue paper for collage because you lay it down and it just disappears. It becomes transparent. It's just, uh, and I love it. And I love gluing it down. <laughs> I use my uh, wedge to spread the glue which seems to work really well for me. Because brushes, I don't know. The wedge is fast, and with the uh, gel medium and the glue that I use, you want to put it a real thin layer, <clears throat> and that wedge really does a nice job. So, okay, I think that's about it for the moment. So this is collage paper. I'm going to do more with it, obviously. It turned out really pretty. Really pretty. And the deal with tissue paper and alcohol inks is I can go back in and put more alcohol down and that ink will spread. Not as much as it would, uh, you know, on, on a non-porous surface because it's a non-porous surface and it doesn't sink in. So you can reactivate it real easy. Tissue paper is more porous, sucks in the ink, doesn't, you know, release as much when you add alcohol. But it does a little bit. And if you do it right away it'll you know you'll get more of an, uh, an effect so I don't know what I'm going to do with this but you know what I'm going to do with it I'm going to go like this yeah nice and it's scrunched there is a Japanese technique called mamagami where this is what you do with uh, whatever kind of paper you have you just keep like kneading it and scrunching it and squishing it and smashing it and eventually it turns into a cloth-like substance, <laughs> but it's, uh, no buts, it's full, cool. it's, it's cool, and it gets real soft, the paper starts getting real soft, you're going to get rips in it, so what, look how pretty, that'd be pretty, now I could take that and just, in fact I will, I'm going to just throw this on a canvas. Just a you know, plain old canvas. Uh, it's been pre primed. All right, looking for my glue. Here it is. And I'll show you what I'm using as a glue because I love this stuff. Okay, I use Maker's Magic. It's gloss, it's a sealer, it's a glue, it's a project finisher decoupage medium, is what it says. And I take that and I put it in a squirt bottle and it, I dilute it a little bit with water. And don't ask me how much. It's not a whole lot of water. I mean, this was filled up to here, and I only put just a little bit of water in it. But stuff is really, really sticky. And I uh, really like how it works. So I'm just going to take this and put it there. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So glue. Wedge. And I still have some of that gel on there. It's okay. It's all mixed in. It's all glue. like this product a lot and the, the secret of using it is to make it a thin coating and it dries real fast 
because again, I don't have a lot of patience. So it's picking up some of that inky color. And it's okay, it's gonna be covered up. So, probably didn't need to go to the edges, but I did anyway. All right, and another thing with this table cover of four mil plastic, I can just throw my tools down like that and not worry about them sticking. They just peel right off. So I'm just gonna set this down and see what happens. Oh look, I must have squirted my fingernail or else I, <laughs> I got jaundice, I don't know. Okay, that's good. And another thing I like about tissue paper, using it as collage, you can just throw that glue on there and it sinks in. So it uh, it's like double gluing because you're gluing the bottom, but you're also gluing the top and it's soaking in. It, yeah, that's where I was trying to go with that. It soaks in, which makes life easier, I think. And just spread that. Spread, spread, spread. Oh, it's stuck to my finger. That's okay. Bring it back in. I think I'll give you some more wrinkles. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah, these are really pretty colors. Yeah, fall is coming. I can feel it in my in my art. <laughs> uh oh. I, but the thing is, if you throw it in the same pile twice, you usually end up with glue on your wedge, a glue wedgie. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Feels a little dry over here. Get little bubbles. I mean, you can pop them too. Just keep wedging it and spread the glue, spread the edges. when this is dry is actually burn this. I like burned edges. I haven't burned my studio down yet, so that's... <laughs> I like the look. What is that big bubble? Oh, it's a big, big pile of tissue paper that's... That's okay. Oh, it's ripping. Good. I like it ripped. ripping that piece off. That's just white. It's more white. I'm going to rip some of this off. Put it up there in the corner. Right over the top of it's already there. And you can just go layer upon layer upon layer with this. I did that yesterday, just for the heck of it. I just kept gluing and gluing and gluing. And there was many times I, you know, liked what I had done, but I kept going because that was my exercise, was just to keep going, save nothing, just go. Keep doing it. I don't know how many layers I've got in there. Eight, nine. It was fun. No pressure. It feels dry up there. Actually, what I might do, I did take some of this off, but I could wrap wrap it around the frame, too. That would really be pretty on this one. Do a little of that. All this stuff is so sticky. Ooh, can't get it off my fingers. Okay. That's got to be glued. Need some glue. So malleable. It goes wherever you want it to, and you push it down like that, and it's like, there you go, you're gone. It's, you're behaving. <laughs> really easy to do that. I like doing that. Just wrapping it around and gluing it up. Okay, I gotta do this edge. 
I know I'm off the camera. I'll be back. So I'm no t uh, technology whiz, so I do not edit my videos, which some may say is just lazy. <laughs> I just don't want to spend my time that way. I'd rather be spend my time doing this, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's really looped down nice now. I like the way that edge came out. I'm just going to wrap it around like that. I'll trim it later. How about that? Yes. Looks like leaves. I mean, you go in there and put, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Or just leave it like that. I think I'm going to put a, <clears throat> my black, uh, run black ink around the outside for the frame. My faux frames. I like doing that a lot. And call it good. Might just be done. Oh, I know what I could do with it, though. I know what I will do with it. After it's dry, uh, I'm going to go back in with some gold gilding wax, or possibly, uh, I'll show you my collection of this stuff. This is uh, like gold leaf, but it's not gold. But it's the same properties. Real thin and fine. It's got a really nice shine to it. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if it's called. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's like that. Oh, I don't want to touch it. My fingers are all booped up. Oh, you know what? Here, this is what we'll do. I'm just going to... Okay. Why not, right? There we go. Grab this piece. Put her here. Don't think. Just do. Clean my fingers off a little bit because it's all stuck to it now. And I like, like breaking it up. I like that look. Okay, I need a little bit more up here. Oh, boy, it's all stuck to my fingers. <laughs> it's all stuck to my finger. <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh, well. I have this little bit here. How am I going to get that off? Usually it doesn't stick like that. I got my fingers in water. <laughs> Some of that off. Yeah, let's start off with clean hands. I have a bucket of water over here, so that's what I'm doing. Just cleaning off my fingers. Okay. So there. I like it. Right? Pretty, pretty. Am I done with it? I should be, but who knows? So, thanks for watching. Denise Johnson signing, signing off from her Outer Space Studio. Over and out. <laughs>